I've seen people comment about bringing them hay and water. Well, if you're going to make this a nice place to be, they're not going to learn their lesson. They're not going to learn how to stand tied patient. We are in the alley here that goes from my pastures in the back up to my barn and my covered arena. It's all right there behind you. Cows come through here every day when they come in to feed them. And then uh, we have some horses down there on the left. You might be able to see, I think he's behind there, the black cow back there. He's in the wrong pasture. He's supposed to have come in with the others. And uh, he's in the pasture with the, some horses and Churro was making him regret that decision a little while ago. But anyways, back to this. This is uh, my tie line. This is what I tie horses to that either don't know how to be tied or behave really poorly when they're tied. And basically, it's a rope. I bought it at Lowe's. It's regular half inch rope, nothing special about it. Uh, I found two trees that I tied it in between. I wanted it in, in this alley because this is enclosed. If they was to get loose, they're still enclosed and they're not out where, in, in the pasture where horses in that pasture would bother them. They, they have horses right there. That's the pasture that Bob and Mouse and Bug is usually in. And uh, so basically this is just a piece of rope between two trees. I tied a knot in it right there. I found the middle, gave me about, two and a half or three feet and tied a knot right there. And then at the bottom of that loop, I just bought this swivel and then I added it to the bottom of the rope. This is just a, a basic galvanized swivel that you can get at any hardware store. I, I assume you can get it at any hardware store. We can get it around here at any store. Just a galvanized swivel big enough that I can put a lead rope through. And it just slides, the rope slides through one ring, slide the metal through it and pull it back down. When I go to tie a horse out here, I'll tie it to this part and then they can go in circles, they can paw, they can dig, whatever, um, whatever bad behavior they want to do. They want to pull back. If they pull back, this has a lot of give to it. So it's almost like being tied to something rubbery. You've seen the old thing where you tie them with a piece of rubber tire to give some give. This will have the same kind of give. So it's not like being tied to a hard post or to a hard tree or something like that. So when they pull and they give a little bit, this will give a little bit. And I had this line high enough. I guess technically they could rear up and get a foot over it, but I've never had them do that. And you always want to tie them so that they can't get their head below their wither. So I usually tie them pretty tight to their halter right here. And I've, I've, you keep the head above the, liver, the withers, they don't typically want to lay down. They'll paw right here uh, and they'll learn to behave. And I'll leave them tied here until they're good. It's the same, same pressure and release as everything else. This is the pressure. This is you're going to stand here teaching patience. A lot of people will call, people will call it like a patience pole. This is teaching patience. When you're patient, when you stand nice, I'll untie them and I'll go put them in their stall or turn them out or, or give them hay or whatever. Um, I'm not going to give them hay and water here. They're not going to be here tied long enough that they need hay or water here. There could be a couple of hours, but they don't need hay. They, they can go a couple of hours without hay and water. And that's part of the whole thought process. Uh, I, I know I've, I've seen people comment about bringing them hay and water. Well, if you're going to make this a nice place to be, they're not going to learn their lesson. They're not going to learn how to stand tied patient. And it's funny that a lot of times that's the horses that's handled that way. That's the horses with the problems. So th this is what I do with horses that either don't know how to stand tied or behave poorly when they're tied. And it's easy to do and they learn really quick and a lot, it's best if you work the horse first and then tie them here give them give them a place to relax a place to to chill out and that's what works and if uh if you've got any questions about this it's, it's just two parts it's low it's rope from lowe's and a swivel from the hardware store and that's all it is and some once in a while the rope will stretch and i'll have to get up and tighten it up bring it back up when it sags it's kind of sagging now and uh, really effective and uh, you, a horse can get hurt in a padded room, but this is the safest way that I have found 
to teach a horse to learn to stand tied that doesn't know how to stand tied. So uh, if you got any questions, put it in the comments below. Until next time, thank you for watching.